Hi guys, this is Kyla Monarch. Just coming to you, letting you know that I'm going to be doing a review on the Phobos holster for my everyday carry, my Sis Soya P365. So stay tuned. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Day we hustle, but the night we. Know that the ride or die. Hi guys, this is Kyla Monarch coming to you with another review. Today I'm going to be talking about the Phobus. The Phobus holster. You know I'm all about comfort. I'm all about concealment. I'm I'm about the queen of but this is what we're going to be talking about today. So let's get right into it. You already know that my everyday carry is my Sis Sawyer P365 all day long. And this is it. It is hot. So let's go ahead and make it cold. Release. Pull the magazine out. And let's go ahead and empty that one. That's in the chamber. You saw the bullet come out. So we are officially ready to go. See, it's empty. We good to go. We did a visual. Sticking my finger in there. Don't see anything in there. Don't feel anything in there. So she's empty. We're good to go. That up and let's get started with this particular holster. Now, I haven't heard anything about it, I don't know how it's gonna do, but at first opening it out of the bag, it looks a little different to me. It is kydexed, I think you guys can see that. And there's this part in the back. I, I don't know what's that for, maybe to keep it more secure on you, on your persons, on your side when you're carrying it. And then there is like some instructions in here. It was, you know, just like that inside there. So I'm going to scoot you guys back a bit so you can see what I'm doing. So here we go. This is the holster. First thing I'm noticing is, yes, there is a screw there for the tension, which is good. You can, that, that's good. But I am concerned about the two little screws that are here. If you turn it to the back, there is not really anything to kind of tighten that up a bit. And I may have to put my glasses on to see this because even I'm not liking that um, it, fit, it looks like it's a bit too loose for me but let's get into it and see what it actually does and, and I'm going to grab my, grab my glasses too um, just so that I'm able to see all what's going on with this particular holster Okay, now that's better. <laughs> so, yes, it is Kydex. You have the name, the brand name here. Um, they have here what particular weapon that is for. I hope you guys can see that 365 there. And again, um, has the name of the brand on the back, Phobus. Can you just see that? Okay. So let's try it. Let's go ahead and see how it does. Excuse me for sweating. You already know. <laughs> Having these hot flashes, it's no joke. It's part of menopause. You already know. So just by looking at this, well, let's just see what happens. How about that? 
So I'm going to put it, I have on jeans today, no belt, no day. Um, and you know this is how I pretty much rock it. Um, t-shirt, jeans, and this time I'm wearing a t-shirt that's not actually showing too much of my muffin top, but you still can see a little bit in there. Um, but it's, it's roomy, it's comfortable, but it's not showing too much of the muffin top. And you know, I, I'm having an issue with the muffin top. I'm still working on it, still trying to get rid of it, but I tell you, as I have said in my other videos, I'm still going to carry conceal, even though I'm dealing with a muffin top here. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and put it in, and I'm going to slide you guys back some more. I'm going to go ahead and put it on, see what happens. So, I'm going to put this part here inside my pants. Do it at the 3 o'clock position. It's sitting there really good, it appears. 3 o'clock position here. So if I'm pulling my shirt over it, pull you down some. I want you to see. If I pull my shirt down over it, you can see the imprint of the holster already with this particular shirt. Even to the side, you can see something sticking out with this particular shirt. So maybe this may not be the shirt to wear um, because it does show every nook and cranny, but at the same time, let's just see what you see when we put the actual, um, when we put the actual gun inside the holster. So let's go ahead and close that up and I'm not gonna load it I'm just gonna leave it um, cold at the moment and we're gonna slide it in slide it in the holster you hear the click you know it's in there it's not gonna go anywhere but you see how I just pulled that holster just straight up from my jean and I don't like that. I feel like I need a little bit more tension in there to keep that holster on my pants. So if I was to pull this gun out in action, you see the holster is coming out with the gun. Same thing is what happened when I um, did the video on the sticky holster. I don't know if you guys remember that particular video. But when I did the review on the sticky holster, the sticky holster did the exact same thing. So, let me show you that. Can I even get it out? Sure. Okay. So, again, the gun is cold. Okay. Nothing in the chamber. Nothing, um, no magazine. But, again, let's put it in this holster. Okay. We know it's locked. But if I'm in, but if I'm in a situation where I need to pull and I need to do a fast pull, this is what's happening. And we don't want that. We do not want this to happen when you're in a situation and you're trying to, to, to legally defend yourself. You don't want this to happen. So this is a huge no-no. Um, let's try it maybe with a belt. Let me go ahead and get a belt and see if it'll work better with a belt. Let's try that, okay? Let's try and do it that way. Also, I wanted to show you the opening. Put that down there. Show you the opening of this particular holster. If it fits, it seems like it's shaped for the gun. The muzzle of the gun to go in and sit securely in there. Gun fits in there perfectly. Clips in. It's in there. You see that? And you might see a little bit of room in there at the top. Okay. So let me get a belt. Let's see how it does with a belt. 
and I'm putting on a belt. Let's see if this host is gonna hold up with the belt. If it don't hold up with a belt, I can't do nothing with it. And um, I can't even have it in my repertoire of holsters because I want something that's gonna function, but I also want something that's what? Comfortable. So let's try one more time. Let's take the firearm out of the holster. And let's go ahead and put it in with the belt. Okay, it's in. It's in on the three o'clock. It's in. Let's go ahead and put the cold firearm inside of the holster. All right. Covering it up, you already know it's something there. The, the, um, the part that my magazine goes in, in this gun, it shows in this shirt. Again, like I said, this shirt may not be the right shirt to wear, but it shouldn't matter what kind of shirt you're wearing. If you need to, if you need to carry conceal, you need to carry conceal. So, you already see the imprint here. You already know what's going on. So maybe this would not be the correct shirt to wear, or I have to have a different holster on all together. Maybe something that goes around the waist, which I am going to order. Um, because I, I, I told you I'm still on my quest to find the perfect holster that I can wear and it will carry it, carry my firearm and any of it be concealed, you know, still be comfortable. But this here shows everything. You see the imprint from the side. You see the imprint from the front view. And of, and of course, you know that I am a curvaceous woman. Um... I'm bigger than your average, <laughs> but even with that, I still want to be able to have a host of white carry conceal. So let's see what happens when we get ready to do a fast pull, fast pull run, fast pull run, um, fast pull run. Let's see what happens. See, the holster actually stayed this time, as you can see. So the belt does help it to secure and to stay. Let's try that once more. Okay, so we're here. Let's pull this. And the holster stays. So with this particular holster, the belt helps. The belt helps it to stay. And that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. And maybe this, and maybe I should try a different shirt to use with this particular holster if I'm going to keep it. You know, try a bigger shirt or a shirt that's not as form-fitting or whatever the case may be. But I do know that this holster works. So with the belt, I should say, it works with the belt. Now let's see how it feels when you, when I'm sitting down. Know who my buddy is? My buddy is this chair. So let's see how it does when I sit in this chair. How it's gonna feel. Okay, so I don't feel any pinching. I don't feel any sticking. Um, I do feel just a slight uncomfortability with the top of the gun here. Um, so I do feel that. But other than that, it is comfortable. I will have to see. Um, I will have to see how it is when I sit in the car. But right now, just sitting here. Okay, now this part of my gut, you know my little, you, you know my little area, my, my, this part of my muffin is on top of this gun. Um, it's on top of the, the muzzle, the back of the muzzle of this particular gun. So I feel a little discomfort, but not as bad as some of the rest. So this particular holster may be a good one to uh, keep, but I want to try it with a different shirt, and I also want to try it in my car and see how that works. 
So for now, let's let's not throw the baby out with the bath water. How about that? Let's not throw the baby out with the bath water. Let's see how this is going to work with a different shirt and also with me being in the car and see how it does then. How about that? Okay. So the phobis, I can't. I can't throw it away just yet. I can't take it back just yet. So, in the meantime, I'm going to hold it and I'm going to do a different uh, review. I'm going to do a different video on it in a different type of shirt, something that's not so clingy, and see how it feels in the car. So, we're going to call this part one. <laughs> and then next time you see me and we're talking about this particular holster, that's going to be part two. So, right now, we can't say if this is a winner or if this is a chicken dinner. We can't say yet. So, in the meantime, like, comment, share, subscribe to this channel. And this is Kyla Monat coming to you, letting you know that um, I'm still on my quest, y'all. And I'm going to find it. And, um... I'll see you guys in part two. All right. Thank you.